hello guys welcome back to yet another interesting video so finally nothing have started rolling out first open beta of nothing os which is nothing os 1.5 and that's based on android 13 so in this video let's go through all the features what they have added with nothing os 1.5 and at the end of video we'll also show you guys how to install it on your device so without wasting any more time let's get started so here i have my nothing phone one so as you can see i've already installed android 13 let me show you the software information if you go to about section here you can see android version is android 13 and the software version is 1.5 it comes with 5th december 2022 security patch and guys if you want to know anything about this newer build we have a nothing telegram group i'll leave that group link in the description below make sure to join that group nothing is quite late in releasing android 13 which is still in beta phase but it's never late as it's a new brand and they are continuously providing us the OTA updates. Also guys before moving ahead let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video we still have 82% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel so if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. So with Android 13 you guys won't see much of add-ons we still don't get the features like app lock and other stuff let's see if nothing adds them in the upcoming updates or not and we have seen on nothing community a lot of users getting widewind certification as l3 so i did install the rm info application but here you can see we do have the support of widewind l1 and few users also reported that google pay is not working on android 13 so let's give it a try here and here you can see we don't have any kind of problems using google pay application which was mentioned by some of the community members and now talking about the first change log which is related to lock screen so let me turn off the screen and here okay right now i don't have multiple notifications but i did take a screenshot so this is the change related to lock screen now notification in my usage i only noticed that two notifications were only shown on the lock screen other notifications had this smaller pill similar to google's android 13 so this was a change in the lock screen and talking about the notification panel you can say the quick setting tile now here we do get pop-up menus whenever we tap on tiles like bluetooth or wi-fi and also we have an option of active application so if any application is running in the background you can just tap on active application and you can for stop that particular app along with that now they have also added the media player in the quick setting tiles nothing also claims that they have increased the app loading speed up to 50 percent so that we'll get to know once we start using the device as a regular phone or my primary phone so stay tuned for that very soon i'll be dropping in-depth review of nothing os 1.5 so if you have any particular topic to be covered do let me know in the comment section below and finally nothing have also added the material you support so that can be found in the settings customization and it's not under the wallpaper and style sections like what we get to see on pixel smartphones this can be found in the icon pack so if you tap on icon pack here you can see we have a feature called themed icon and this is similar to what we have seen on Oxygen OS also. There are few applications which do support in the app drawer too, but it looks quite bad. I don't know how difficult it is to implement similar to stop Android because it doesn't look good. You can see few applications supports themed icon in the app drawer, not every application. It will be really good if nothing, just limit the themed icon support on the home screen icons itself. And after that, we also have this new redesigned volume panel. Tapping on these three dots, now you can individually make changes in the volume of things like media, ringtone, etc. And now nothing have also added the live caption support, which can be triggered if you play any video. You just have to hit the volume button and tap on this icon. Another add-on is related to multi-language support. So if you go to settings, languages and input, and here you can change the app language. So right now you can see we are using default language, but if you tap on any of the application, you can change the language of that particular app. Only that app will be having the language which you have selected. Other applications will have the default language. After that one add-on what nothing have done, now they have added the nothing weather application. So this is the nothing weather application. You guys let me know whether you like it or not. I personally like the weather application which is quite unique with this different types of icons for things like wind speed, sunset and UV index. In the quick setting tiles they have also added the QR code scanner so let me show you that. Here you can see this is right now not active on my device but nothing have added this. And later they have also added the clipboard preview feature so if you copy something you will get a preview here from where you can directly share that link along with that you can share that particular thing with nearby share. This includes photos, URL, music and audio files. 
Nothing also says they have also improved the background memory but as I told you guys these features we won't be able to experience until we use the device as a primary phone. So this thing I'll be updating you guys in the review video. Also another feature what nothing have added and that's called self repair feature. Nothing says that keeps the phone one running like it's a new one by clearing the unused caches and expired system dump. So there is no dedicated settings for that particular feature that generally must be working in the background. And at last nothing have also optimized their gaming tool or you can say the gaming mode. Though I tried out two games but automatically those games were not added and these are the games which is Survey Surfer and Mini Car. So I tried these two games. If I open any of the game, the gaming mode doesn't get triggered. So I'll have to test out some heavy games. Then only I'll be able to update you guys about the changes. And guys, to install Nothing OS 1.5, first you need to download the file which is given in the description below. But personally, I won't recommend you guys to install beta version. Wait for the stable build. So here you can see this is the file which is of approximate 1.15 GB. And make sure you are running Nothing OS 1.1.7 before installing. After that, you have to open the dialer and you need to dial star hash star hash 68 to hash star hash and again star so this will allow you to update your device locally here you can see you have a browse tab tapping on it now you need to select the file after selecting the file that will appear here under the local system update you just need to tap on it and the installation process would start i've already installed it on my device you'll get a pop-up once you tap on the file which says this process might take a while and is irreversible. Please take backup of your device before proceeding and also make sure your device is charged more than 50%. So this way you can install Android 13 on your Nothing Phone 1. And if you still have any kind of questions, you guys can let us know or join our Telegram group. The link is given in the description below. So guys, this was a quick look on Nothing OS 1.5 and its feature. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys are gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. And also if you're new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.